Hi, my name is Miss Jaden, and today we're going to be reading the book On the Day You Were Born. Okay, and I wanted to read this book to you because um, I just love the storyline, and I wanted you to learn about the world around us and what it may have been like um, when you were born. Okay, let's get started. On the Day You Were Born by Deborah Fraser. Okay. For Mother Earth, born four and a half billion years ago, in Baby Kala, born June 1st, 1988. And you. On the eve of your birth, word of your coming passed from animal to animal. The reindeer told the Arctic terns who told the humpback whales, who told the Pacific salmon, who told the monarch butterflies, who told the green turtles, who told the European eel, who told the busy garden warbles, and the marvelous news migrated worldwide. While you waited in darkness, tiny knees curled to your chin, the earth and her creatures, with the sun and the moon, all moved in their places each ready to greet you, the very first moment of the very first day you arrived. On the day you were born, the round planet Earth turned toward your morning sky, whirling past darkness, spinning the night into light. On the day you were born, gravity's strong pull held you to the Earth with the promise that you would never float away. While deep in space, the burning sun sent up towering flames, lighting your sky from dawn to dusk. On the day you were born, the quiet moon glowed and offered to bring a full bright face each month to your windowsill. While well, high above the North Pole, Polaris, the glittering North Star stood still, shining silver light into your night sky. On the day you were born, the moon pulled on the ocean below, and wave by wave, the rising tide washed the beaches clean for your footprints. While far out at sea, clouds swelled with the water drops, sailed to the shore on a wind, and rained you a welcome across the earth's green lands. On the day you were born, a forest of tall trees collected the sun's light in their leaves, where in silent mystery, they made oxygen for you to breathe. While close to your skin, as a high as the sky, air rushed in and blew about, invisibly protecting you and all living things on earth. On the day you were born, the earth turned, the moon pulled, the sun flared, and then with a push, you slipped out of the darkness quiet where suddenly you could hear a circle of people singing with voices of familiar and clear. Welcome to the spinning world, the people sang as they washed their new tiny hands. Welcome to the green earth, the people sang, and they wrapped your wet slippery body. And as they held you close, they whispered into your open curving ear, we're so glad you've come. And this is more about the world around you. The migrating animals and spinning earth, pulling gravity keeping you to earth, the flaming sun in the sky, the glowing moon at night, the glittering star in the North Pole, the rising tide, falling rain, growing trees in the forest, and rushing air and the singing people or your family around you on the day you were born. Okay, so now that we've finished the book, I'm gonna ask you some questions. Okay. Can you recall one thing that you remember? Question two. Do you relate to this book? 
I personally relate to this book because um, on the day I was born, I know that um, a lot of people came to the hospital to see me. I know that they're all happy. And just like in the book, um, the baby also had his family around him. Question three. If you were at an, uh, like another page of the book, what would you sketch? What would you draw? Would you add another forest? Or would you add like mountains? Or maybe, uh, maybe a beach with a bunch of sand and seashells on it? Or would you add the night sky with a bunch of stars? What would you sketch? What would you draw? Question four. What would you rearrange from the book? And if you had a chance, how would you write this book? Would you change the beginning of the book more towards the middle, more towards the end? Or would you change the page that had the forest on it more towards the end or more towards the beginning? It's your choice. How would you write it? The activity for today would be to sketch or draw um, a page of your own. If you were to add another page to this book, I would want you to draw on this, but since we're not together, um, you can just get a piece of paper. Um, it doesn't matter uh, what kind of paper it is, but just draw something that has lots of colors and uh, be creative. You could draw, like I said before, uh, like a beach with a bunch of sand on it or a mountain, um, whatever you want, be as creative as you can. And then once you're done with the sketch, I also made for you a puzzle of the earth. And since we're not together, I will show it to you real quick. Well, okay, and then once you do the puzzle, we I have a Kahoot for you I in the bottom link, and then if you'd like to do it, you can for my better understanding of what you learned from this book and what you got from it. And I hope you loved this book, and I hope you liked the lesson, and I hope you stay safe and healthy, and thank you for watching. Bye!